Hey, good day, friends. It's uh, Lance Klessig. Just wanted to bring you an update quick from a, a field down here in southeast Minnesota. We're in uh, just outside of Rolling Stone, and uh, this is a farm that has a, a couple years of, of reduced tillage and, and planting green. Uh, so, I want to just bring you a quick update. If you want to look down here with me, um, this is an area of the field that, um, you know, headlands are on the upstream side of us here or the downstream side, and this, this rye was all frost seeded early March uh, with some clover. Uh, here you can see one of our clover friends, if I can get it up, pulled out of the soil. Um, so uh, this was seeded around 60, 70 pounds, but I just wanted to show you here's an area of the field that, um, you know, had some more exposure. And so we have a little bit better stand. Uh, so there was less residue, but there is, there is clover here and there. Um, uh, we did have a, a snow, uh, oh, when was that? First part of April that uh, did not help us out. We had a week of, of cold and a week of snow. So I wanted just to kind of show that that's a, that's a, that's a good spot of, of, of uh, establishment on frost seeding. But then as we get up here, um, we start to see, obviously there's more residue here, first of all, uh, but we start to see, um, if you want to pan with me, um, you know, there's not as much vibrant green, but as we get down there, there is rye that's, you know, coming, taking off. Um, and wanted just to point out a couple things, you know, first of all, uh, we compared a field on this side of the road to the other side of the road, and there's a lot less residue. Uh, this corn, uh, this field last year, these couple fields ran pretty heavy. They were around the 250 mark dry. Uh, so there's a fair amount of corn stalks, what people would call trash. And for those of you that watch my videos, you know that I call that armor, insulation, food, habitat, etc. cetera. But um, wanted to point out a couple things. Um, first off, as I, as I parted the, um, the heavy corn stalk mat, um, you know, we found rye, it's hard to see here, but um, that, you know, here's the rye seed and uh, you know, the sprig is only an inch tall. So we have rye that's delayed germination because it never got down to, to decent moisture or seed to soil contact. Um, we have some, like I said, some clover here. You can see that. You can see how that clover has been nipped, right? And um, like I said, we had that tough week. But another thing I want to point out is if you jump over here with me, as we get down here, it's probably hard to see, but you can look here and there's a lot of earthworm activity, a lot of middens we call them, and a lot of earthworms that are decomposing our quote unquote, our quote unquote trash. And that's really important for an earthworm, uh, for our soils to be healthy is to have a live active uh, earthworm population. Uh, that's a sign of resilience. Um, let's see if I can find my friend here. It's probably pretty hard to see. I'll try to show it to you. But here is what I call a macro pore. Um, and it's probably hard to see, but there's actually a corn stalk going down that. And a macro pore is really just a, an earth, a, like a night crawler cavity, like a culvert, a conduit that takes our heavy rains and puts them right in the soil. And so as we use cover crops, as we, you know, plant green, as we do reduced tillage or, or just plant no-till, um, we, we preserve all those conduits, all those culverts. So we can have big ones that are the size of my finger, my pinky. We can have lots of little ones, but collectively they take water down into our soil profile. And that's really an important thing as we are trying to farm uh, in nature's image and trying to have the soil health principles at place. So one of those principles again is keeping the soil covered, armor. And you know, we have fairly good armor. Um, you know, there's a fair amount of armor here. Well, we have live roots. We have a sewer rye plant uh, and a scattering of some small clovers that'll probably get uh, terminated here within a week or so. But, you know, because the corn's been in the ground since the uh, first week of May. But again, this farm is changing. It's changing for the better. We are reducing our, our, our disturbance. Uh, not much disturbance going on out here. Putting the seed in the ground and letting it grow. So. Again, just wanted to give you a quick update. It's uh, Lance Klessig from Southeast Minnesota. Thanks for joining us. If you like our videos, give us a, a thumbs up. And lastly, if you watch our videos, you know what I always say at the end, choose to make it a great day. And we'll catch you on the next video, friends.